so yesterday our discussion was to discuss hash code so what we discuss this program hash code demo one in which what we did we verified two dis uh, two different objects may have same hash code okay sometimes and two different objects having same content must be same hash code also that is the rule of you know, hash code contract or java contract that's why here s1 and s2 are two different objects two different string objects but if you are going to print the hash code then you are getting the same hash code but this one was the same for you know when we are doing all these things for you know string class and the string class is a inbuilt class what if we are talking in the context of custom classes custom classes again i'm telling user defined class or the class created by you or someone else so here student dot java this, this was an student class and this one was you know student main class so <clears throat> These are what student S1 and student S2. Their contents are same. Okay. But if you don't overwrite equals method, then in spite of their contents are same, their code will be what? Their code, the hash code will be different. Okay. So what do you need to do? You need to overwrite equals and equals is telling yeah if their contents are same then they are same and in that case the rule is saying if two objects are same by content then their hash code should also be equal so to equal the hash code hash code each modified also means hash code each modified also that's why equals and hash code are always together okay. so if you see here when i override so i ask code and equals are overridden so remember one whenever you are creating class okay any user defined class and you are supposed to you know using collection what you should do always override equals and has could blindly don't think that so so that was the concept of high school and this rule now we are going to study has set so our discussion started from here yesterday so i told these points that sets are what in general a set whatever the set you are talking about it is unordered it allowed duplicates and it is based on as code and what is the main purpose of using a set you can tell if you know for which operation set is best set or map for search operation remember for which operation or search operation it doesn't matter how many elements are stored in a set the search operation is always going to take a constant time that is order of one 
Why? Because it's not going to search linearly or any other manner. What it's going to do? Whenever you are trying to search an element, first of all, mathematically, as code is calculated, okay, and it's directly come to know where the element is stored. <coughs> so, you can immediately get the bucket number and you can get that. So, you get the index <coughs> of that. This one we have also seen, but yes. Why has it doesn't allow duplicate elements? Yesterday we have seen this one. No. Yes, yes. Tell me. Someone is saying something? No, I, I just said like has code uh, has said doesn't allow the duplicate element. Yes, yes. So yesterday we discussed this one. Okay. Yeah. Has has code or sorry or any set. What is the property of set? Any set. This that is the property here. That it doesn't allow duplicate. Okay. So don't be confused that I am only talking about class. So let us write a program for here. So you can see here I told has set the other variety of set as set linked as set tree set there is a specific purpose for tree set so i'm going to create a program for hash set and in the beginning i told if you know the program of array list it will be very easier for you to study the many collections so you will realize it now so here i'm going to create you know uh, new package new package okay. and what do I mean? set sorry as dot <clears throat> so new class and here I set demo one. Fine. So our first program is for what? Don't do anything, just go to a list here. And what I'm going to do, I can see demo and so close this here. Array list, array list, array list. Control C, copy this. Okay. Control D. And this one should be within main. So just write main control space main method and put all these elements control x and here control t now see so if you see this in left hand side array list program what i have written i have written array list or list okay so in left hand side i can write the class has set i can write here or i can write the name of the interface can i do like this set and here i'm going to write set fine and what i'm going to create i'm going to create a has set so i can write the name of the class has set now you need to import it so I have imported okay set has set whatever now this is set so control c and control v here control v here control v you can see what i did nothing i did 
in the left hand side i wrote interface name in right hand side i wrote the implementation class methods are going to remain the same okay simple so i can print set so simply if you print set this or set now run it one two three four five elements banana papaya apple mango five four are coming can anyone tell me so set does not allow duplicate values yes set doesn't allow duplicate elements okay so you can see here apple and apple so you are getting only four iteration you already know how to iterate array list if you want to go through you know each element one by one so what you can do you can use iterator so if i want to iterate you know set how can i do that and i'm not going to write c just use this you can use any iterator for example control c and here you have already done this control v and what should i write here here a list dot iterator so here set control c yes control v set and iterator it is fine now it's fine now run this you see this banana pear mango so you don't need to hear about most of the things if you already know array list so the remaining things you can do one more thing mm. set is not ordered okay mm. first of all run this so you are getting what you are getting banana then you are getting what what is the insertion order oh uh, normally mm, normally when a number of elements are less you are getting the same order but that is not guaranteed but so but that you know set is not ordered you can verify it from here inserted element was what can, can you tell me it was banana second element was what it was apple can you see apple no it's papaya you are getting after banana you are getting papaya okay then you are getting apple then you are getting mango so are you getting the same insertion order answer is no i told in the beginning regarding set since it's an order so you may get the same order or you may not get the same order so order is not guaranteed that's why set is called what set is an order fine luckily that concept is verified okay first so if i write something here comment one more thing uh, what is default capacity for this? The default capacity for asset is 16. Okay. And uh, there is a concept of load factor. Okay. Load factor. Load factor is 0.75. 0 0.75 what is the meaning of this so let me go
Ding drin. See, load factor equal to 16. Uh, sorry, default capacity is 16. It's fine. You know what is default capacity. Load factor is 0.75. What it means? 0.75 means what? Can I say 3 fourth? Yes. 0.75 means 3 fourth. So, what is going to happen? Previously, you have seen. Um, Oh, this is array list. Okay. So in array list, what is going to happen that if this capacity is, for example, in array list, if I talk one, two, three, four. Okay. If the capacity is four, for example, in array list, then when its capacity is going to be increased, when you have filled all these locations, all the slots are filled. In that case, when you try to insert the fifth element in that at that time, oh, sorry. capacity is going to be increased for array list. But in the case of hash set. As soon as it's going to be filled 75%, that time its capacity will be increased. So suppose this one is has set and you inserted something here, okay, you inserted something here, you inserted something here. So it's not going to wait to insert an element here. As soon as this one will be completed, its capacity is going to be increased. Okay, means this one is filled, but this one is filled 75%. So it's not going to wait to fill 100%. So when it will be filled with 75% of the elements, then its capacity is going to be increased by double. Got it? That is the meaning of so it will be 32 next time as soon as you insert three elements here is it clear or not It means so I can write here that is capacity will be double double when. It is filled at seventy five percent or three percent, seventy five percent. And whatever the rules of the set uh, that is going to be followed means it is unordered. Hmm? Based on what? Based on as code. Based on hash codes does not contain what? Does not contain duplicates. So this is what this is has. So we are done with has. Okay, and uh, one two also I can write. So it generally performs. Um, 
search add remove operations in order of my good order of one order of one means you already know constant okay i can put constant okay so searching is very fast so has set it done okay but this one is for what this one is for you know whatever we have written uh, that is for in build class object string class we have taken object and it's not creating any so what i am going to do i am going to create another uh, means my has set is going to store not a string a custom class object so what are i need to do Let's see i am going to create a new and one more thing here you can see dog okay so but here i am going to create a different you know class new and here class okay this is a biscuit class this is a biscuit class so there are some attributes for example biscuit id biscuit id for example it's int string vendor taste how to eat how to eat i have taken four attributes for this and for creating some biscuit objects what i can do i need to provide you know some constructors so constructor is from super class okay remember although it's needed or not whenever you are writing a, a parameterized constructor it's a best practice to include this one the advantage of keeping this one right now you will not realize but once you will study you know spring and hibernate you will see this one is mandatory okay so just make it a practice so you can see constructors okay two constructors and uh, getter setters provide getter setters also mm -hmm. go to source generate getter and setter select all fine and what i told I'm not going to uh, you know, override uh, as code and equals right now. To string, go to source and where is to string? Here yeah, is to string, then the to string for print purpose. So our job is done. I have created a biscuit class object. Now I'm going to create another class as set what I said biscuit so that you can come to know that here I'm going to write main control space so our custom class is biscuit. So how can I create biscuit objects? C B C U B S P 
v1 i can write okay this is v1 equal to what new script and what are the attributes tell me id vendor test how to read okay id for example one okay vendor vendor is what vendor is suppose it's tenia or whatever hmm? Britannia. and what is the third one taste, taste and how to eat taste it suppose sweet and how to eat this one all the other strings fine sweet and last one eat how to eat so open it open it open and eat it simple So I'm going to create two more objects. Control C, Control B, Control V. So this is biscuit B1, this is biscuit B2, this is biscuit B3. I'm just going to change here, okay? Many attributes I'm not changing right now. So one, two, three, okay, biscuit I think I will change. Now I need to create a hash set. Okay. So, what I need to do? Hash set demo one. Go to hash set demo one. Just copy this line. Control C and Control V. So, set of what? Where you need to change? Here it's a string. Now, here you need to change what? E I S E Y T. Is it fine? So I am going to put biscuit objects, control C, biscuit, okay. Form, delete this one. Hmm. Now I am going to add, hmm? so set dot add what? No one is telling anything. B1, should I write B1? Yes, I am writing B1. Control C, Control V. You can see everything <coughs> like array list. B1, B2, and here, you know, B3. So I have added, you know, three biscuit objects. So right now, if I say all these are doing one more thing be careful see what i'm doing control c and control v i have copied this okay just i'm writing here b4 right remember the content of b3 and b4 are same now what i'm doing here? i'm writing set dot add and i'm adding this kit b4 also fine now here's this uh, or if I iterate if I print here set how many element elements will be appeared? Can you tell me? Four. Three. Yes, yes, go ahead. Remaining people also. Three. 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 Yes. Three. Three. <laughs> Someone is telling four. Who is telling four? Four. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not giving any answer. Okay. So I, I can hear some, some people are telling four, some people, people are telling three. Okay. Why? Who is telling three? 
Can you give you an explanation? It doesn't allow the uh, duplicate value. That's why three. So how duplicate will be decided? How we'll come to know that? Are you thinking these are duplicate objects? So I told four because I thought it's a custom class. So I thought uh, since you are using a new operator, it would create two different objects with two different uh, references. So uh, that's the reason why I told four. No. Certainly they are two different references. Okay. So first of all, these elements are duplicates or not. See, you cannot say these elements are duplicate. Just see the biscuit class. See, in biscuit class, what we have in biscuit class, I uh, getter setters and two strings are on. Okay, simple. Now, B3 and B4 are two different objects, are not. Please tell me in the memory. Your your voice is not clear. Okay, so actually we cannot understand. Someone was yeah, different objects. So that's why I wrote this one. See, the uh, oh, yes yes yes. So right now I have not written anything. So in general, if you talk, what is going to happen? B three. Is having what b3 is representing a different object and this b4 is representing a different object fine although although their contents are what although their contents are same thing. but you cannot say these are the same object no so what when you will say these are the same object when they are cut when they are equals by equals method. When you are applying equals and it's telling you true. So if I write b3 dot equals b4, in this case, it will be what? In this case, it will be false. Okay. So these are not, you know, these are not equals by equals method. So they are not the same object. Fine, first of all. So, first of all, verify this, then we will see. Run it. So, you can see biscuit ID 3, 3, 3. Uh, you can see order is changed. Hmm? So, who will duplicate 3, 3? Biscuit ID 3, vendor 3, biscuit 1, biscuit 1, biscuit 2, biscuit 2. You can see two times biscuit is appeared here, biscuit ID 3, and here biscuit ID 3. Two times appear means four elements appear. Appear, appeared because these are going to be treated as you know different objects. So, how you will tell these are the same object? You need to tell it because. It's Java is going to do what by default for compare comparison, it's comparing references, not contents. But now you are telling that no, no, I don't care about reference, I care about content. So if the contents are same, then they are same for me. So what you need to do? You need to, yes, you need. Yes, so you need to change the equals method and once you change the equals method, the rule is that you should override hash code also. So go to source and generate hash code and equals. Actually, this part, control S and now run it. So this one, if I iterate, then you can see in a better format. So. Take this iterator, control C, and here, control V. This is iterator of what? This kit, control C. Yes, right. 
So see this one was from first, you know, system dot out dot printed, and this one is from second one. So can you see these three elements when I overload in you know as code equals? So duplicates are now removed. So don't think duplicates are always going to be removed. You need to tell what is the meaning of duplicate for you. The meaning of duplicate for you is here contents. Okay, and how we will say it by overriding equals. So, okay. For sorting purpose, what you did? Do you remember? Or at a list? Comparator and comparable. Compare. But here, you are not supposed to do. Okay, there is a very special class for sorting sets that is called tree set. We will see that. Okay, if you want to keep your element sorted, just take the class tree set and put all these objects into your tree set, uh, tree set and it will be sorted automatically. So, just one question here. Hmm. Uh, Shrini, so my question is. Uh, over this one, you have a parameterized constructor and you have like four parameters, right? So mm -hmm. let's say instead of these four parameters, I'm just going to have one parameter and mm -hmm. say that to be a string one. And, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm going to add uh, four elements likewise, and rather than using a new keyword, if I'm just going to like uh, have something like uh, a string literal kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, no issue. Yeah, so would that be creating a duplicate or not? Because in string little, what happens is you have a uh, string constant pool in which only one object will be created and the rest of the object will have, uh, will just carry the references, right? See, see, string class is already overriding has code and equals method. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So whatever you told, that doesn't matter actually. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So it will always be duplicates are not going to be provided. Either you are using uh, a string by new or by using, you know, uh, just just one minute, one minute. I think you are talking about this one. That doesn't matter. See what I'm doing here. Yeah. I said demo one. Okay. So I'm writing set dot add and here I'm writing new string mm, what should i write tell me what should i write here you can go for banana itself banana fine yes so what are you trying so, to say? it doesn't matter because it's going to be a set that even if it's going to be a literal or if it's going to be a new operator only one element will exist right Yes, if it's if I write here new new two times also three times also, so it's going to compare contents simply. Why? Why? Why it will compare contents? Because equals. string class is overriding equals method. So either you are creating banana like this or like this. So contents are same. Understood. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Uh, Okay. So this one we work. Okay. Now come back here. You see here, has set, linked has set, tree set. So, what is this linked has set? Let us see this one also. 
because this is, that is going to take one, two minutes only. If you see here, point number two, it is unordered. Unordered means has in general, in general, a set is always unordered. For example, has set you have seen, insertion order is not going to maintain. When you iterate, you will see the same order or you will see the different order. But sometimes we need, you know, to order the elements. We want to maintain the order of the elements. So the order in which we put it our elements in the set, we want the same iteration order. So for providing that facility, we have a class linked has set. So linked has set is what? Linked has set is actually ordered. Okay. That this is the only difference between linked has set and other classes. So one minute. First of all, run this. So you are getting one, two, three. Okay, science one, two, three. So here you are always getting order. Okay, well, previously, what was uh, speed uh, asset demo one? If you run this code, so what you are getting? Yes, yes. banana, then you are getting papaya, then apple. So here, order is not maintained. Okay, so what I am going to do. I'm going to use linked asset, okay? If I want to maintain order. So, in this, I'm not going to create another package, you can understand, okay, by the name. So, new class and here, link, link, as set demo fine include main also if you say my time so what i will do as set okay so control c and going to here right control v set of what i'm going to create set of strings String and here set of int. Where is the asset demo one? I'm not going to write. So just I'm copying this. Copy from here to here. And control to B. Now see, set is implemented here by what? What I'm going to use? In the right hand side, I am going to use link as a line. Link as a control C. Our program is done for link as a. I have changed here all. Now I am using link as a. So if you run this, see what I inserted first. Realize banana, then Apple, then mango, then apple duplicate papaya. Can you realize? Link has it is ordered. It's maintaining the order. Okay. But previously it was not maintaining the order. Has set. Okay. So link has set is doing what? Yes. <coughs> link has set each ordered this is the only difference okay remaining things are going to remain same now we are going to discuss tree set okay so where is tree set oh, um, um. Reset. Let us discuss a little bit first. 
then we'll go to our program. So you can see, preset is doing what? It keeps elements in sorted order. If you need to do sorting, you need to use a different class that is called. So this is a very special class. Set is providing you, okay, tree set. So whatever you want if to sort, put it in tree set. Put your all elements in the tree set and they will be automatically sorted. So internally, it's going to use a data structure uh, that is called red black tree. And red black tree is a kind of binary search. You just need to know this, not more than that. So see some special things regarding this class. Whatever elements we are adding into it, we must provide sorting behavior. This is for what? Suppose specifically this one is written for you know custom class you are creating okay and if you want to put in the tree set you must provide the sorting behavior how it will sort how tree set will is going to sort your elements biscuit dog imply see tree set is not a god that it or it will automatically come to know that how to sort biscuit how to sort no you need to tell it tree set how to sort first of all Okay, so and how you will tell how to sort your biscuit object, your dog object by again using comparable and comparable. So it's inter, it's using the concept of what for sorting comparable and comparator. So, but remember, it is not based on hash code and equals method. Okay, although sets are related with hash code and equals, but this one is based on comparable and comparator. So let us uh, you know, write a program as two programs. New class tree set demo one. I'm going to create tree set demo one. Tree set demo one. Do the main also finish. Delete. So here copy this simply. I'm going to copy this. Control C. Go to preset. Okay. Control B. And in right hand side, what I am writing? New in the place of uh, link asset. I am writing tree set. I am going to use tree set. Okay. Now, see set dot add, 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 add. Now, to avoid confusion, delete on this so that you can unnecessarily. Banana, mango, okay. So, and can you see here? Apple, banana, mango, pepper. Is it sorted or not? Please tell me yes or no. Yes. Yeah. What I did for sorting? I did nothing for sorting. So it's going to be sorted, okay, by default alphabetically. Fine. Right? A, B, C, D, okay, in ascending order. Now, so see, since the string class, all these objects belong to a string class. So comparable and comparator, okay. If string class is already implementing, you know comparable interface so string class java already know how to sort this okay. but what about uh, custom class objects so i'm going to create you know preset demo 2 for custom class 
so new and uh, what I'm going to write class since in the PPT I have used what yes you can see here <coughs> mobile first of all let us discuss this then program so suppose there is a mobile class that is mobile having a you know vendor name price and color fine so you can see there are four mobile objects i want to sort okay i want to put all my mobiles in a set okay and i want to sort them so how i want to sort my set i want to sort on the basis of see price for example so what you need to do since this is set so first of all you have created the mobile objects and put all your mobile objects in a tree set okay so i have put it here mobiles 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 okay so what will happen it will be automatically sorted on the basis of you know price but how it will come to know that it has to be sorted on the basis of price so mobile class should implement comparable interface for that okay so and you can use comparator also after some time suppose you don't you know like this means you don't want to sort on the basis of id okay so you want to provide a different sorting behavior means sort sorting on the basis of you know uh vendor name so what you can do you have seen the uh, use of comparator so you can write your own comparator also so let us implement start and uh, <coughs> anyone you can implement. you can implement whatever in the ppt and since i have already created biscuit class so so what i need to do okay please mm -hmm. set please set them up please so here I'm not going to create a mobile class. I have created already a biscuit class. Fine. So I'm going to use. So see, I have created some biscuit objects where I have created. I have created some. Okay. One, two, three, See, I'm going to copy this first of all. Control C. If you are not understanding anything, if you are not comfortable with my copy paste, you can tell I can write down. So, see, simply I have created some biscuit class objects. And uh, so, so I want to put all these in not has set and I want to sort these elements. So what I do, I'm using tree set. New tree set. But how Java will come to know it has to be sorted you know, on the basis of for example, ID. So, see what I am doing. I am going to add one, two, three, and before. See, I am changing something order here. This one ID is, for example, there. Okay. This one ID is two. This one ID is suppose thirty, and before ID is. Okay. Now these are different different. What I need to do, can any, anyone, tell, anyone tell me immediately? If I run it, what will happen? 
think we should implement the comparable and over it compare two method so <clears throat> Where should I go? I need to go to this kit class. Fine. And what I need to do? Implements. Implement what? Comparable. Fine. Comparable of what? Now you can see it's showing some error. So add an implemented method. See here. Go down. So I told what you need to do here simply return this dot id okay minus here o dot i o dot i just need to do remaining things are going to be taken here. So ID or something else? BID. So I have created a preset and uh, where is iteration? Asset. So just have things. Control C. I want to iterate it. Control B. And this is not the string. This is what? Control C. Now you can run this. Can you see this? 2, 3, 10, 30 on the basis of ID sorted. Is it fine? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, so you can see this one. Is. So all the things we have done in the analysis, okay. I just need to modify something about this. That's why I told the list is so much important. Now, suppose if you don't like to sort on the basis of ID, you want a different sorting behavior, means you want to sort on the basis of. So, I'm writing here some different vendor names. And, uh, and uh, what are the vendor names? Okay. I got Parley, something like this. Parley. Parley GB logs to the Right here. Here. I don't know. Right here, something like that. So you can see. Can you tell me a better biscuit brand? Very gold. Very good. Oreos. 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 Brand, a biscuit brand. What is the opposite that? 
this that is when done okay that is when done fine so what i will do reset the loop so if you remember if you want to provide a custom sorting behavior then you need to use composite so what i'm going to do i'm going to write a composite so new class so sort uh, sorting by i am writing vendor sorting by vendor or sort by vendor sort by vendor composite so that if you see the understanding g So it should implement what? It should implement a comparator. Implement what? Implements comparator. And what should write here? I should write here. What I want to sort? Biscuits class B A B C. Now it's showing some error. So it's telling to add an implemented method. So fine. This code is generated. What you need to return? C vendor. So vendor of biscuit O1 minus vendor of biscuit O2. What I, I will write it. So O1 dot I will get what? O1 dot. Can you see? Vendor here, yes. You can use getter method also. If you want. One dot vendor. Okay. Vendor is a string. So how will you compare strings? Can I write minus? No, you cannot write minus. If you remember previously, one dot vendor. Okay. Dot for comparing string. Need to use what compare? Yes, since this one is returning, you know, three types of integer: positive, negative, and zero. And here, compare to what? I am writing O two dot what? O two dot zero. The many things we need to take. So on the basis so now. Our job is done. Now you can use it. How you will use it? Go to preset demo and uh, you just need to do what? In the place of using this one, what you need to do? Uh, just copy this line. Control C. I'm just I'm doing one thing. Control V. Uncomment this C. Whatever. So new tree set. Okay. Pass here your you know, comparator. What is your comparator? Public new. Sort by vendor. Sort by new very sort by vendor comparator. So the comparator. comparator. Pass your comparator here. <laughs> I have commented this one. So, what is going to happen? Run this first time. Hmm. So, I am sorting on the basis of vendor. So, don't look at the things. Can you see vendor? Britannia, then Cadbury, then Oreo, then Barley. B, C, 
and when is it fine are you able to understand this part vendor just see vendor since i am sorting on the basis of vendor is it clear see vendor so we have seen tree set also or tree set what you need to do you just need to you know, tree set provide what you need to provide <coughs> a variable and company now Just like that, we have a map on this. First time. so what i want first of all before we discuss anything we are planning to discuss a couple of programs more regarding mac but before moving forward i want you to create an you know imply class object okay and that imply class should be having Three things: imply object, sorry, imply ID, imply name, imply salary. So by default, what you need to do by default, sorting should be based on imply name, and if you want to customize it, then. It should be on the basis of imply salary. Means default default sorting should be based on the imply name, and custom sorting should be based on imply salary. Are you getting me or not? First of all, tell me. And what I want. I want to use set means for sorting. You know, key set will be needed. So we need to use key set. So first of all, what I want, I want to create imply, okay, and in imply in ID next. Screen name okay. and here third one is three things I want. Okay, default sorting should be based on what default sorting should be based on name. Okay, default sorting, default sorting. Custom sorting should be based on cell. Are you getting what I want? You need to use what? You need to reset.
Hello everyone. Are you getting what you need to do? Eclipse. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So one thing you can do, you all. First of all, you can take a five minute break and then you can start it. And I will be here. If any issue, then you can ask me. After some, uh, after some time, I maybe start uh, my. But first of all, do this. It's difficult to attend long session continuously. So have a break. Can anyone make me presenter? I cannot say. I don't know where it's disappeared. My image disappeared. I'm not able to do it. Everyone can see my screen? Yes. 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 Uh, can you make me presenter? Any? No, I'm very. Please make me presenter or you can make yourself presenter. Please try it. Anyone? Anyone can make me presenter? I think. No. Can you make yourself presenter? No. Can you try? Can you try to say? Oh, one minute. Can you try to share your screen? Oh, now, now it's fine. Now it's fine. So please take a break of five minutes, okay? We'll be back after five minutes and then what, whatever I told, please try that. Yeah, okay, sure. Thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you. That's okay. Since you, you are host now, so you can do that. That's fine. Okay, so the one thing we have compile time and run time. Compile time means the moment you think like the way I'm thinking. Compile time means the moment when you are compiling your program. People, you understand the meaning of compile time? The, the moment uh, when you are compiling your program, that is called compile time. Run time uh, means the moment when you are running your program. You, you got it or confused? Got it. Got it. When you are running your program. Hey, I am running my programs. It means means at run time when you run your program and when you compile. So please remember it. Generics, whatever I am going to teach you, it only works for the compiler. What is it? Generics works only at compile time. You got it or confused? Because somebody is saying uh, at run time and if you say like this. At runtime yesterday, I was facing some problem because of generics. That statement is correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Right? No, no, I'm saying yesterday, I, you can say yesterday I was facing a problem uh, regarding generics at runtime. It is incorrect, right? You can say you, well, you don't know generics, man. <laughs> generics works at compile time. Then why are you talking about runtime? Doesn't make sense, right? You are telling a lie, right? It's not correct. It's clear? Okay. So up your question is why generics? Hmm? See guys, actually what happened sometime when you do programming because of uh, programmer mistake, right? 
uh, you do some mistake and at run time uh, you got some problem or uh, the problem uh, you know but the mistake which you do which you do for that you pro you get the problem at run time you got my point so you tell me if you are doing some mistake in your programming right it it, it is good to uh, catch at compile time or run time tell me compile time Compile time. Genix does the same thing. If you do some wrong, something wrong, and if you use Genix, and Genix will tell you problem at the compile time, right? Not at runtime. That's the beauty of it. Clear? So let me tell you uh, what Genix does. I'm just writing one statement regarding Genix, and you have to just remember it. Punch line for it. Genix allows type safety. What I said? Genix allows type safety. You have to understand the meaning of it. Now, I can I can show you the code uh, with generics and without generics. I don't know. Let me let me open if I have generics. Well, I hope you can see my editor. So here I'm going to show you one program. Uh, you know list. Here you see. I, I and I can put this uh, in the pen diagram and then easily I can highlight it. You have to tell me you understand. I'm not in hurry and genetics is not easy topic. What is that? Genetics is not easy topic. It's, it's a little bit complex. Right. See, hey, you know the syntax? I'm making an array list and array list is a data structure. You know it, right? And uh, this is the interface. Uh, so left side, I'm writing interface. And so that right side, you can write array list, link list, and vector. Is it correct? So here, when I'm making a array list, uh, do you know the capacity of array list by default? What is the capacity of it? 15? 16? 10. 10 on array list. Are you sure? Yes. That's cool. Uh, what about link list? Link, link list zero. Okay. What is the capacity of vector? Can I think use? It doesn't have any default capacity. 15. I was trying to confuse you. Okay. It doesn't have a default capacity. I think. No, 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 no. Vector is same as array list. Same as array list. Have you tell me? 16. I just now I said array list is uh, array list and vector both are exactly same. Now tell me. Ten, ten. Ten. ten is the right answer. <laughs> like in array list and vector, uh, we have only one difference. So I will come to know about in multi threading. Okay, vector is thread safe and array list is not thread safe. And what is the meaning of thread safe? We'll talk about in multi threading. Clear? Done. So guys, uh, when you make array list, uh, array list internally uses array. Do you know that? Yes, 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 we know, right? So you see this photo? Huh? So you see, in array list, we can add anything. Can you see this? My dear, I created array list and my plan was, listen to me, my plan was add into the add only string into the array list. But what I did by mistake? People, what I did by mistake? I am able integer, to add double. Uh, integer, double, and Boolean value. Oh Ooh. my God. So that I was, you, you tell me, mistake you do by mistake or mistake you do knowingly in the program. Mistake is done by mistake, right? This was not my intention, understood? So uh, I'm supposed to add a string, but I was able to add uh, integer, double and true. So what problem happened? When I'm iterating it, right? As long as you are iterating array list, uh, array string, you will not get any issue. But the moment when you are trying to uh, access this integer, integer you are trying to typecast into a string, so you will get what kind of exception at runtime? Class cast exception. Why? People were not replying. Because uh, I'm I'm getting sometime in integer, sometime double, sometime boolean. And I'm trying to convert this one data type in a string. Do you think can you do that? No. Both are incompatible data type. It is integer and it is string. You cannot type cast to each other. So tell me, uh, this problem I got compile time and run time. Compile time. Compile time. No, 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 no not compile time. Right now, uh, when, when I'm running my program, because exception comes at runtime, you know it, right? 
issue is coming at compile time and run time man run time that's why you're getting exception exception comes at compile time and run time confuse run time run time so here the mistake which i am doing of adding integer double boolean it will be catch at compile time and run time run time it is too late you got it now yeah. same code i am going to write uh, using generics and then see the power of it uh, if you want to write the same code with you using generics uh, then you know what is the benefit of it you see same code i am writing right hello then if you want to write generics uh, then what you need to do list and you have to use uh, angular bracket right this and mention a string and angular bracket confuser got it yeah you are saying hey list you are supposed to hold only string same thing you can write array list and here you can write the data type which you want to add into it confuser got it what is the difference between this left side and right side only difference is when you are creating array list here you are not passing any uh, data type into it but here you are passing data type into it so benefit is you can add uh, st string only when you are trying to add 12 and double and true it will give you the compile time error the problem is solved or not so which code code is uh, seems to be better so this is uh, this is called generics allows data safety generics allows uh type safety i'm sorry type safety means uh, you can decide the type of it and that type data you can only add it if you're trying to add anything else it will give you compile time or run time compile time compile time, compile time. somebody saying yesterday we have same problem no add a gen this problem i got a run time so this is totally wrong right okay that's cool hey anybody have any question query so far any confusion if you have kuch No. Yes. No. That's cool. Okay. Let me teach you one of the very important rule. Right. I will teach you this way daily. Okay. Slowly, slowly, little bit. Hmm? Okay. Let me jump to the next topic of generic. Now, this thing I have taught you, right? Clay class A is class A. This is important, man. Class B. You have to tell me it is correct or incorrect. Extends A. This is correct or incorrect? Nobody is replying. Correct. This this is correct. And you say again, it is too simple. Okay. Don't write this kind of program. Hmm. Chu. Because it is too simple. at least for you guys okay the so here i can write system dot how oh, dot print ln i can say over here e this is correct right syntax wise yep and you can write this b yeah yeah no so i just want to know from you people here yeah. uh can i do like this e Super class reference can hold an object of sub class. Is it possible? Yes. We do, right? Yeah. This is called subtyping rule. Subtyping rule means super class reference can hold an object of class. Super class reference can hold an object or reference it both are same thing super class reference can hold an object or reference of you can say hold a super class can hold a reference of okay. yep yep you know it right and this is also called any guess casting ah of casting of casting as a sub class reference you are passing into super class reference so you know very well if there is up casting then only down casting is possible yeah yeah but this rule is not applicable in generics means hello the like here we have list right if here we have b you know what i'm saying 
Mm-hmm. Then uh, right side you should also have B. You know this is this is okay because uh, in type we have B, we have B. It is fine. And when you write A and A, this is also fine, Mister. But here A, uh, the, the, this is not applicable. Agar if you write here A and here you write B, it will not compile. A sub typing rule, right? In A you can assign B, but list of A cannot point to the uh, list of B. It's not possible. You got it confused? I said this sub typing rule. A can point to the B object, right? But in generics, if it is A, if left side is A in generics, right side right side should be also A. Right side cannot be B, even though B is a subclass of. You got it or confused? In generics, this rule is not applicable. You have to just remember it. This is. This is not correct in generics. Hello, why? If you allow this, I can prove it. Not right now, later. I'll prove it. If you have, if you allow like this, if it is possible, then uh, you will lose the purpose of data set type safety. You can remember for today. Uh, in generics, superclass and subclass rule is. Replying in generics, superclass and subclass rule is not, not applicable. Clear? Okay. Next thing which we need to understand in this is. Uh, how to design generic class? How to design generic method? Right. So three topic we have to cover after it. So in this, I will teach you only one today, and other two we can talk tomorrow. So what we have? We have generic class. We have generic interface, and we have generic method. Somebody is from C plus plus. In C plus plus, I think there is a concept of generic templates. Anybody have an idea? Generic class, generic method, and generic interface. Anybody have any question query? All this kind of knowledge I need. We know I am teaching you. When I go to the Java eight. Uh, you must have knowledge of generics, otherwise you cannot learn it. So here I need to write generic interface. Hey guys, I just want to know you get tired or you are following me. Otherwise we can stop. I am not in hurry. We are following. Yeah. So what I need to teach you is, that you try to understand. Uh, I have a requirement, right? I need to. Dis- you you just listen my requirement. What my dis- requirement is. Guys, I got the instructions from my manager. I need to design a class which can hold uh, any kind of data. Means, I need to design a class who can hold integer, who can hold uh, double, float, string, right? Dog, cat. You got got what I'm saying is, actually, I want to make a basket. Like if I make a basket, you tell me. Uh, if I design my class like this, this basket can hold what? If I make it uh, here string, so this can hold only string or it can hold anything? Only string. Only string. So, but my requirement is I need to design a class who can hold what? Any kind of data, right? So let me tell. Let me write it. I'm going to make a constructor over here. You tell me. As per the string, it is correct. Yeah. I'm going to write a parameter yep. constructor a string over here, data, and here you can write this dot data equals to data. Data. And uh, you can write a method which can give you the data string yay data. This class is good, good to go. Return uh, data. This is clear, right? This is normal class. 
And this this class has limitation. This class can hold only string, right? But I want to design a class who can hold what? Any kind of data, not only string. Do you know what I need to do? I have to convert this class into generics. People, how? If you want to convert your class into gen, please listen to me. If you want to convert your class into gen generics, uh, you write class and basket. Here you can use uh, after class name. You can use angular bracket, and here you can use some data type like T. But you can take anything. Rajesh, other people, what I said. I mean, here you can take uh, not T. You can use your name A B C D blah 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 whatever you want, right? But by convention, I am taking T over here. T means I want to take a general type, right? And everywhere uh, you can replace the data type with T. You know what is the benefit? Mm. Uh, this class is not yeah. for a particular type. This class could be for any type. You can you can decide on the fly, right? So this is the generic template, and T can be replaced by which data type? Integer, double float, apple, banana, papaya, whatever, dog, frog, whatever, right? Yep. So this is called what class, man? Class with generic. Generics. So uh, let me show you how we can use it. Somebody is saying, "Hey, Nagin, could you please show me uh, how I can use this class with generics?" Okay, I'm showing you. You just note one more to a point about generics. Generics only. Uh, generics doesn't work with the gen. Generics doesn't work with primitive type. You know primitive type. Huh? Your characters boolean. Exactly. Boarding. Generics doesn't work with primitive types, right? It only works with the uh, object type. If you want to work with integer, which which data type we have to use? Integer, you know it, right? Wrapper classes. Yeah, yeah. That's correct. I want to store my data in basket. What you want to store? Please give me the choice. You you can decide. What you want to store in this basket? You don't want to give me choice. Hmm? I am waiting, guys. I am waiting. I am waiting for you. Give me, give me choice, please. What data you want to store? Box, basket weight. No, no. What kind of data you want to store? Integer, double float, character, dog, card. Integer. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Sir. If you want to store in teaser, so what you need to do, you have to write basket, and here whatever t is there, you can write a data type. No, in teaser, when you write in teaser in the in the bracket, everywhere in teaser, in teaser, in teaser, in teaser. Oh, got it? Then you can use b, and here you can use again basket. Hello, and here you can use square bracket. Here again you can write in teaser. You got the idea? And in constructor, what you are going to pass now? It become in teaser. So you can pass in teaser. Got my point? Mm -hmm. Hello. So what happened? Oh, man, basket in teaser. So it become in teaser, in teaser, in teaser, in teaser. Then new basket in teaser. So here you are. What are you what are you going to pass? Depend on this. If it is in teaser, then you can pass in teaser. So data is in teaser type and is holds in teaser. Got it? But if you want to print the value, what you need to do? B dot get data. When you call the get data, it will return t. T means integer. Integer. I hope you got the idea. Wow. Similarly, you can you can write this for other data type also. System dot out dot print ln. Somebody wants you should work for a string. What I need to do? You can say again. Don't do anything. Ah, uh, we understand and we can do it. No. What I need to do for a string? Here you have to write string, string, and string, and here you can write name. Any? Wow, yeah. And here instead of B, you can write str, and str dot D, and here you can write string, and here you can write uh, anything. Okay, whatever you can do. I hope I'm making myself clear. I'll tell me. Any the classes seems to be very complex. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. So generics seems to be okay for you guys. Yep. So far, so far. Hmm? Okay. After generic interface, 
uh, generic interface, I can show you generic interface, right? After generic class. That will last for today. If you have to write a program, what you do? First of all, write this basket.java. Do you know how to make a program in Eclipse? Yep. Basket.java and this will be main.java. I hope you can type it and run it. What do you say? Okay. The thing which I'm, which I'm going to teach you is, and that last for today, generic interface. Other thing I will teach you tomorrow. If you want to make a generic inter, you know interface? Yeah, I know because I have taught you. Yeah. So I want to make a generic interface runner. Hello, here I want to take T. Yeah. What is me? Interface runner and it is taking T. T means I want a hey generics. You, you can take anything, but what you have to return? Boolean. Hmm. What? In this, you can write some method. Method is test. This test method is supposed to take what, guys? T. But it can take any type, but it will return what? Boolean. Boolean. So uh, using interface, what you do normally? This is generic interface for T and using this interface normally what you do? You make implementation class. You forget it or remember? If you are not replying. If you want to make a you know, implementation or runner, runner string or in anything, right? So what you can do, implements. Hello, Hana. Then runner. Hello. So you want to make it for string, suppose, no? So you can use string over here. See, class runner string implements runner. Here you can pass the data type. So tell me, which method you have to override over here? Test. Public boolean test. And see, the moment when you write string over here, then t will be replaced by what? String. String. So you, we have to write the definition. What? Man, whatever T is there, you have to return Boolean. So how we can return the Boolean? You know core Java? T dot, you can write the length, L-E-N-G-T-H. It is correct? If its value is uh, greater than zero, then it will return true, otherwise false. This is correct definition or something is wrong? Correct. Correct. If you return, uh, when length is greater than, then you can make two, less okay. If its length is greater than two, then it will say a true, otherwise say false. This is one implementation. So let me write another implementation of it. So uh, I'm creating another class uh, for integer, right? And here, what you have to write? Integer, integer, is it right, guys? So what you can do over here, hello. Here you are just, uh, you know, you are saying if, tell me, if t value is greater than two, otherwise false. This implementation is correct or you confuse? When you compare this, this wrapper with the, then this wrapper will be converted into a primitive type. And conversion from wrapper to primitive type is called? Unboxing. Unboxing, Unboxing right? Primitive to wrapper is called boxing. Auto Unboxing and boxing feature auto boxing. That's cool. When, when in which version of the JDK this feature was introduced? Pardon? Like I'm telling you a generic answer. If you don't know the answer of it, you say Java 5. Clear? If you confuse for Java 5, say Java 8. Your answer will be 99% correct. People, you got both. You got both the both the implementation of uh, generic interface. This is first, and this is second. You tell me, you guys confused or you got it? Be honest. Got it. Got it. Only two or three people and everybody. Everybody. Okay. Got it. 
I got confused yes. on this return uh, return to the plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, I, I I wrote like that. That's why you confused. Like here, try to understand. This is called, you know, expression. In expression, what you are doing, you are computing the length of the string. Suppose here uh, you are passing Nagendra, right? Nagendra length would be eight. Eight is greater than two. So this is this logical operator. Uh, either it will return true or false. I wrote like that. That's why you confused. You got it? Okay. Okay. Then yeah, yeah. Then, got it. Okay. Uh, you can say it is Boolean expression. Right? Yeah. This is also Boolean expression. This one. An expression is a basically combination of operator and operands and eventually is written a value and a boolean expression always written to your false hmm. okay fine so also uh, you understand everything tomorrow i am going to teach you generic methods and i will teach you wildcard upper bound lower bound after that thing would be done hmm. but genix is not very easy to you it may be Okay, cool. Anybody have any question? Any any query for me regarding this session? Any question query you have? Yes, you know. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, Prabhat, uh, from tomorrow we have to make anyhow attendance, right? We need to track who is regular and who is not regular. Take care for them. Regular, we should not bother about it. Are you following me? Okay. That's why we have special classes yes. and all. Where people are coming regular in the session and they, they, they don't understand. Then uh, we are also responsible for it. Simple. If people are coming randomly here and there, we should not uh, we should not bother about it. Fine. So let's do it uh, from tomorrow without any fail. Fine. And uh, again, I want to tell you, everyone, if you have any problem, any concern regarding session, let Prabhat or me know about it, right? And uh, if you say, hey, Nagin, could you please uh, plan some special session for us? We'll do it. Got it? If you lag somewhere, you confuse, you know. So either you let the Prabhat know or me. We'll take care of it. Yes, sir. Okay. Listen, until you know you will not speak in the session, then how will understand? So if problem, hai, to please tell us, right? And in session, mein, when you have any question, query, don't worry about it if you ask some questions good question bad question you don't care about it you know what i'm saying yeah you don't know the thing that's why you are here okay so if you if, and don't don't think yeah if you ask some question yeah you, this question is a small question and when you ask this question you may be wasting some other people time don't care about it you are wasting other people time or not that is our part that will decide okay up because you people are coming here for session you ask questions okay session got delay let let it get delay i don't care about it Understood? Santosh? Who is, who is Santosh? Santosh, can you, can you hear us? Yeah, I hear you. So, uh, whatever session you have attended uh, so far, for learning something? The collection. No, no, collection. Yes. So, uh, hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm not talking about the only collection. I'm talking uh, throughout the session. I understand that. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Oh, yeah, I, I understand. Okay, okay. Fine, guys. So, uh, so I, then, Prabhat, do you have anything uh, for them? It's fine. I want whatever I did this week. Yeah. I think they have enough thing uh, in your hand to do. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, guys, uh, so we have.